Om Shanti. Date is 26th November 2023. Morning Murli Avyak Bhaktada Madhuban. Revised date is 31st December 1996. Babdada's elevated versions in the new year become an embodiment of experience and make others experienced on the inauguration of the unlimited hall of Shanti One. So this Murli was uh, on the occasion of the inauguration of the unlimited hall of Shantivan. Today, Bab Dada, the one who takes you beyond with her glance, is seeing you deeply loving and cooperative children who are absorbed in love. The proof of love is visible on each child's forehead and in his heart, speaking to the brothers and sisters sitting at the hall, so at the back of the hall. So Baba was speaking to the children who are sitting at the back of the hall. You may think that Bab Dada cannot see those of you who are sitting at the back, but Bab Dada has such a unique TV that scenes far away are visible to his eyes as being very close. You may be sitting in a corner somewhere, but you are in front of the father. So Baba is saying that no matter where his child sits, but Baba is saying that he, Baba Dada has a unique TV that is visible to his eyes as being very close. So each child is close to Baba. Now you are at least sitting very comfortably. Today you have a lot of zeal, enthusiasm and happiness. And so you are showing that by applauding. But Bab Dada knows that happiness in your hearts. Bab Dada is seeing that each child has a lot of happiness in giving the proof of cooperation. And this is why a thousand arms have been shown. So Baba is saying that each children has a lot of happiness and that happiness is shown in the proof of cooperation. Bab Dada, the arms are a symbol of cooperation. Bab Dada knows that each of you children everywhere, whether in this land or abroad, whether through his mind, body or wealth, has definitely given cooperation. And that as proof of that cooperation, you are today sitting comfortably and seeing and listening to everything in the hall. So Baba is saying each and every child has cooperated in building this hall through his mind, body or wealth. Now do not clap so much. The clapping of happiness in each one's mind has reached Bab Dada. Today there are Two specialities. One is the Shantivan that all of you have created with zeal and enthusiasm. Today, all of you children are inaugurating it with Bab Dada. Secondly, according to the drama, the new year is also about to begin. Therefore, Bab Dada is embracing all of you his children in his two arms and congratulating you for both these occasions. So Baba is saying there are two specialities today. One is that the, in, the hall of Shanti one was created by the children with zeal and enthusiasm. 
And secondly, according to the drama, new year is about to begin. So congratulating for both of these occasions. Just as at present you are dancing with zeal, enthusiasm and happiness with the father in the corporeal form in the same way in the new so in the same way in the new year in the object form consider yourselves to be companions experience this the experience of this companionship is very lovely bab dada does not like to be without the children so in the new year bab by saying that we have to consider ourselves to be in the companion form with Bab Dada. The microphone stopped working. This is the first experience. Therefore, consider this to be a game in the drama. Do not consider it to be something wrong. Everything is good and everything will be good. While saying that everyone is very good, you will also become good and every scene of the drama will become good because the vibrations of your becoming good will change any scene, even if it is negative into positive. You children have so much power, simply use it. You have many powers and by using them at the right time, you will have very good experiences. So Baba is saying that we have to always think good and always say good. So any scene in the drama, even if it is supposed to be negative, that will turn into positive because we children have the power and we have to use it. This is a new hall and it is the new year. So what will you do in it? You will bring about some newness in the new year, will you not? This year is the year to become an embodiment of experience and give others experience. Do you understand what you have to do? You have to experience all of this. You are already using words, but every child now has to experience every power and every virtue. You are images of experience, are you not? You Are you embodiments of experience or embodiments of words? You are experienced, but this year, let no child say that he has the experience of some aspects, but lacks the experience of some other aspect. Let there be no such child because this knowledge does not mean just to understand, but also to experience it. For you cannot make others experience something unless you have experienced it yourself. If you have just reached the stage of words, but do not have the experience, then the souls for whom you become an instrument to serve will also say, it is very good, it is very good, it is a wonder. They will only come that far. So Baba is saying that if we ourselves do not, uh, do not have the experience, then the souls for whom we become the instrument to serve will also say the same. Like if we have only reached the stage of words and then the soul whom we are serving, they will also you be in the stage of words. They will not have experience unless we have not experienced it ourselves. However, there are very few souls out of multi-millions who have become experienced and 
the basis of revelations is experience. Souls who have experience will never be influenced by the atmosphere or be colored by someone by some company. Those who are influenced by words sometimes dance, whereas at other times they will begin to have many thoughts. Experience means to have a strong foundation. If the experience is incomplete, the foundation is also only half strong. The sign of this is that they fluctuate over little things. They would not be unshakable because the situations that come or the problems that come become stronger. This is why those whose foundation is incomplete limp along. They do not fall, but they simply limp along. So this year, first of all, strengthen your foundation of being an embodiment of experience. So Baba has told very beautifully that if uh, experience is not strong, then the foundation is also half strong and any situation comes in front of those children, the problem becomes more stronger and they fluctuate over little things. So this new year, we have to strengthen our foundation of being an embodiment of experience while moving along some children may be very fast today, but their faces tomorrow would have changed a little. The reason is that their foundation of experience is not strong. Souls who are experienced will solve even the greatest problems as though nothing has happened. It came and it played its part, but he would consider it to be a game while being loving and detached observers. It was not a big situation, but a game. It was just entertainment. You like entertainment, do you not? No matter what the situation is, it is a big thing for you when the foundation is slight, even slightly weak. So the souls who are experienced, even the greatest problems when comes in front of them, they would consider it to be a game, a form of entertainment. They will watch it while being loving and detached observer. But if the foundation is not strong, even a uh, what the situation is, the foundation will slightly become, sorry, even slight. Oh yeah, so when the situation, uh, no matter what the situation is, it is a big thing for you when the foundation is even slightly weak. Even if it is 75% or 90% strong, there is still a possibility for the foundation to shake. Bab Dada does not like to see you children work hard or battle. Why should you work hard? Why should you battle? Instead of being yogi souls, are you not those who became warriors or are you yogi souls? Sun scars of battling will take you into the moon dynasty, whereas the sun scars of a yogi soul will take you into the sun dynasty. So what do you want to become? Sun dynasty or moon dynasty? If you wish to become part of the sun dynasty, then let all battling finish this year. Has your battling finished? You didn't say yes to this. You only said yes when Bab Dada 
asked you whether it has finished. Bab Dada sees the result of the children even while not seeing it. The result of every movement is not in front of the eyes, but it emerges in Baba's heart. When you fluctuate here in the corporeal world, either a little or a lot, Bab Dada experiences in the subtle region that someone is fluctuating. Therefore, just as you have the happiness of Shantivan and this hall in the same way promise in front of Bab Dada and this huge gathering that this year you have go beyond all upheavals and that you have to become unshakable and immovable. So Baba is telling us to promise in front of Bab Dada and this huge gathering that this year beyond all upheavals that we will become unshakable and immovable. No matter what situation comes, we will be unshakable and immovable. Not that you will become that, but that you have to become that. Is it like that? So is it like this? Those of you who feel that you have to become this, not that, you will think about it or that you will do it. Raise your hands. Raise your hands. Hi. Acha. Congratulations. Those of you who did not raise your hands due to any reason, it is impossible that you will not become this. However, if you did not raise your hand due to any reason, raise your hand now. Are you ashamed to raise it? In that case, think about it. When you are ashamed to raise your hand, you should also feel ashamed at the time of doing it. That is fluctuating. When you think that this is something to be ashamed about, you will not do it. And so you will become strong. Some children Ask Bab Dada and the instrument children again and again in their heart to heart conversations the same question. Baba, tell us the date of destruction. Do all of you have this question? Acha, if Bab Dada gives you the date and says that there will be completion in the year 2000, what would you do then? Baba is not giving you a date, so let there not be any misunderstanding. Bab Dada is asking you that if he were to tell you that everything will finish by 2000, what would you do then? Would you become careless or intense effort makers? You would become intense effort makers. However, if Bab Dada says that, this year, there will be upheaval. What would you do then? Would you become even more intense effort makers? Or would you become a little date conscious and count that one year has gone by, another month has gone by? So, would you become date conscious or soul conscious? What would you do? You would not become careless, would you? Or would you think that you still have four years and so it doesn't matter and that you will make effort in the last year? You would not become careless in this way, would you? Or would you be a little careless even if you do not become careless Maya is listening to you and she will bring such things in front of you that carelessness and laziness will creep in now and then. So what would you do then? This is why Bab Dada also told you earlier to not become date conscious but 
to consider every moment to be the last moment and to be ever ready at every moment. Okay, Bab Dada may say that this will happen after 2000. You may accept that, although it is not like that. You accepted it and so you will become complete by the year 2000. So when will you make others complete in the golden age? Will you make others complete in the golden age? There are a few who make others that and many who become that. Do you need time for them or not? Last season two, Bab Dada asked whether you had created the minimum population of the golden age of 900,000 or 9 lakhs. If you have not created them yet, how can destruction take place? Whom would you rule over? Would you rule over old souls? The new souls are not ready yet. So if destruction were to take place, what would you do then? This is why Bab Dada has kept this work for his children who are fortune tellers. Why should the father do the work that fortune tellers do? They too are the father's children. Let them earn their income. This is their means of income. If someone is in a great hurry to find out, then ask those children. The father will not tell you. Do you understand what you have to do this year? Become embodiments of experience. Many children have sweet heart to heart conversations and they say, Baba, what can we do? So much has already been accomplished and so you can do the rest. We will rule, but you have to make us perfect. Will this do? The father is definitely your helper and will be till the end. This is a guarantee, but whose helper will he be? So Baba has given us a guarantee that he is def he will definitely be our helper and will be till the end but whose helper will baba be the father will totally help those who take the first step of courage the father will then help you fully to take the second step of help if you do not take a step of courage but simply tell Baba, Baba, you do, you do this, you do this. Then Bab Dada would also say, I shall see, but at least take the first step. How can anything happen if you do not even take one step? This is why this year check at every moment that your steps of courage are strong. Check before you ask the father. It is impossible that when you take a step of courage, Baba would not help. Simply take a step of courage. This is why it is said, when the children has courage, the father helps. Do not take this the wrong way and think that father helps and then the children have the courage. No, first we should take the step of courage and then Baba will help us. The father continues to smile and say, Wah, my children, wah, my beloved children. If you take a step of courage with faith, Baba is ready to give multi-million fold help to every one of you children at every moment. What else will you do in the new year? Even now, one aspect of service still remains. What is that? The God of the Gita has to be proved. However, Bab Dada told every zone last year that 
you have created and will continue to create many loving and cooperative souls who are in connection with you, but that you have now to create hires. Very few hires are emerging. Bab Dada sees the result at every center every day. In all directions, the result is that there are very few hires and many loving and cooperative souls. However, you have to make them move forward. Bring new ones and enable these last ones to go fast and thereby bring the higher quality souls in front of the father. Very few higher souls emerge, just those that you can count. Since you want transformation to take place by 2000 and that's why everyone wants. How many hires have you created? The people of the golden age have to be royal and there are very few of those you have created subjects. You have had many types of conferences and have been invited to many outside programs. This year, the result of the impact, the subjects is good. But what does Bab Dada want? Now prepare higher quality souls. Only when you bring hires here will the advance party be revealed. Then the drums of revelations of the father's name will beat in all directions. In the result so far, you are doing very good work. Some say that only you can do this. They even say this, but their attention now needs to be drawn to the Supreme Soul. It is still incognito that the task of God is being carried out. Because of your power and love, you children are making very good efforts to reveal the Father. However, while they are still only loving and cooperative, the revelation of the Father cannot take place. It is good that you have arrived at this point, but the sound, it is now the time the Father has come, has to emerge from everyone's lips. Then destruction will also take place. The Father says, do not ask the Father when the destruction will take place. The Father is asking you, when will you be ready? Should the curtains be open? Are you ready for the curtains to open? Or will the curtains open and you will still be continuing to get ready? At least reveal 16,108 firm strong jewels. At least create the rosary. The father is also seeing whether the rosary is ready. There is this much margin. Baba is not asking for a lot. He's not asking for 9 lakhs, but for you to create a rosary of 16,108. Therefore, create it this year. We shall see whether the unshakable rosary of 16,108 who are free from obstacles is ready. Are you still limping along a little and showing your games a little? What do you Pandavas do? Are you ready? Speak. The Dadis are saying yes. Are the Shiv Shakti saying yes? The Rosary of 16,108 is ready. Acha, prepare the Rosary by the 18th. If Baba were to ask you to raise your hands, half the gathering would say that you are part of the 16,108. Those of you who think that they are in this rosary, 
give a little note to the dadis say whether you are in the 16,000 or in the 108. The dadis will then validate this. Do not think that just because you have given your name on the piece of paper, that's it. First, they will pass it. Then Bab Dada will pass it and you will then be given the final result. Acha to those in all directions who are moving forward with zeal and enthusiasm to those who become incarnations of economy and accumulate their time, thoughts, words and actions in their savings account to those who celebrate the new year in the corporeal and subtle forms to the long lost and now found children Bab Dada is seeing that children in all directions, if not in the corporeal form, then in the subtle form, are in Madhuban <coughs> and are celebrating in the subtle form. And so Baba is congratulating everyone for the establishment of Shantivan and for the new year and is giving love, remembrance and namaste to all the jewels of contentment. Blessing. Sorry, mithe mithe sikhila de bacho prati mat pita bab dada ka yad pyar or good morning Ruhani Bab ki Ruhani Bacho ko Namaste. Ham Ruhani Bacho ki Ruhani Mat Pita Bab Dada ko Yad Pyar. Good morning or Namaste. Thank you Baba. Blessing. May you be free and free from bondage and finish all bondages by having the awareness of your original and eternal form. The original and eternal form of each soul is freedom, being a master. Souls become dependent later. Therefore, become free from bondage by keeping your original and eternal form in your awareness. Let there be no bondage in your mind either. If there is any bondage in your mind, that bondage will bring other bondages. To be free from bondage means to be a king, a master of oneself, a self sovereign, sovereign, sovereign. Such souls who are free from bondage and liberated will pass with honors. That is, they will go into the first division. So we have to be free from bondages and finish all the bondages by having the awareness of our original and eternal form. Slogan, to be a master remover of sorrow and transform sorrow into spiritual happiness is to do true service. Cha Om Shanti.